We will start this evening with our graduates. Our first inductee tonight is Mike Chibero. Mike Chibero is a 1977 Wade Hampton High School graduate. He is a senior facilitator with Battlefield Leadership LLC, an experiential leadership development company that utilizes history's greatest lessons to equip and encourage leaders. He is a former senior partner with the global accounting and advisory firm of Ernst & Young LLC, where he held several key leadership positions, including quality and risk management leader and learning and development leader for their America's consulting practice. He is a recipient of Ernst & Young's Distinguished Educator Award. Mike is a storyteller and an author of several sports history books, including Voices from Meadowbrook Park, Memories of Greenville, South Carolina's Historic Baseball Park. The Mighty Generals, a story of basketball championships and racial unity in the Deep South. And The Cadillac, the life story of University of South Carolina football legend Steve Wadiak. He serves on the board of directors for the South Carolina Christian Foundation and Upward Sports. Please direct your attention to the screens. If you're looking for someone who represents Greenville County Schools and the product they produce, uh, Mike Chibero is your man. Mike has uh, given his whole life back to the community. I came to Wade Hampton High School in 1973. I can remember being very nervous and afraid that first day. But very quickly, that school and its teachers and students welcomed me. My basketball coaches at Wade Hampton were a big influence in my life. Coach Lynn Howard, who was my JV basketball coach, uh, taught me some things about leadership that I now value. Coach Johnny Ross was my varsity basketball coach. Coach Ross gave me the perfect example of what it means to be a man of integrity, a man of character. In the classroom, uh, I, I remember fondly my 11th grade English lit teacher, Miss Sue Wilson. I have to admit, I was probably not the biggest fan of Shakespeare, but what I remember most about Miss Wilson's class was her just uh, infectious smile. I majored in accounting, uh, ended up taking a job with Ernst & Young, uh, one of the big four accounting firms, and spent 31 years there in a, a very rewarding career. I came to a place in my early 50s where I kind of feel like I had a mid-course correction, and I was able to pursue some things that I'm really passionate about, one of those being leadership. He's doing this battlefield leadership um, adventure now where he goes to different battlefields all over the country and teaches about business leadership learned in a, in a practical sense from the battlefield. And then those leaders go on to make businesses better, and then the businesses make economies better and the economies make life better. It may sound a little bit of a stretch to, to think about the influence that Mike Chibero has had around the world, uh, but it really can't be measured and it can't be overstated. Another passion of mine that I got to revisit in the second half was writing in sports. I've written three sports history books. One of those books is, this, is called The Mighty Generals and it's the story of the integration of public schools in Greenville County that ultimately led to back-to-back -back state basketball championships at my high school. That book created many great opportunities for some wonderful discussions around race, uh, around unity, particularly in a time when tensions were very high uh, in our country. He wants to do things the right way, uh, do the right thing the right way. He always has this forward thinking, what's next, what's ahead, and I think that's a great characteristic to have, and I think that's what keeps driving him forward, is what's next. My faith teaches me that retirement's not really an option. You, you've got to keep serving, you've got to keep giving your life away. And I guess for me, if um, I have a core belief, it is that um, a life well lived is a life lived for others. He's a man who can trust, he's a man uh, that you can look up to, not because of what he's done, uh, but because of who he is.
please join me now in welcoming Mike Chibero to the stage and congratulations. Wow, um, it is a tremendous honor uh, to be here and to be counted among such distinguished company. I want to say, first of all, thank you to the school district. Uh, thank you to the foundation, the selection committee. I am incredibly humbled uh, to be a part of this distinguished group. I um, am reminded of one of my favorite sayings in life. It says, um, if you ever see a turtle on top of a fence post, you can be certain of one thing. He didn't get there by himself. And as I stand here before you, uh, I stand on the shoulders of so many who made sacrifices uh, on my behalf, made investments in my life that gave me opportunity, and so I'm eternally grateful. I wish I could thank everybody here tonight. I'll, I'll thank a few that are obviously very special to me. I'll start with my family who's here. I'll start with my wife, Cindy, 38 years. Uh, Cindy, you are my inspiration, my motivation, my greatest encourager, my greatest fan. I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, and most of all, uh, as you were married to a guy who traveled way too much for business over a 40-year career, uh, you were the rock that provided the stability in our family. So thank you for that. My three sons are here, Matthew, Philip, and Nick. Uh, thank you for the men that you have become. You have brought honor to our family and joy to your parents. My daughters-in-law are here, Brooke and Emily. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for the wonderful five grandchildren you blessed us with. My grandchildren are not here tonight because if they were, the decorum of this meeting would be greatly upset. They're all under the age of eight, but uh, thank you for that. I, uh, I, was, I have to admit, when I got the call that I was uh, going to receive this honor, I really told, I honestly told them, I said, you have to have the wrong number because I just really felt like there was not anything significant in my life that would warrant something like this. And so I had to ask him, I said, who is the crazy person that nominated me? And they told me who it was, and I recognized the lady. She uh, is a, goes to our church where we've gone for the last 25 years. And in that moment, it kind of all came together, and I figured out why I was here. You see, there's nothing good that has ever happened in my life. There's no blessing I've ever received. There's no honor I've ever received that I can explain outside of the grace of God. And so in closing, I, I want to thank someone who's not here, who's passed on, but um, uh, had something to do with putting me on that path. And that happened to be a teacher and a coach at Wade Hampton High School. In the spring of 1975, I'm a sophomore at Wade Hampton and a coach by the name of Bill Phillips football, basketball coach, athletic director at the school. He started something at Wade Hampton that uh, he also started at Greenville High many years before. Now, here was a busy guy. He had a busy schedule. He had a family. Nobody paid him extra to do this, but he started a chapter of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And Coach Phillips invited me to one of those meetings, and it was there that I heard for the first time that God had a plan for my life and that he wanted to have a relationship with me through his son, Jesus Christ. And so I am eternally grateful to Bill Phillips. I feel his spirit here with me tonight, and I just want to thank him publicly. Um, the last thing I'll say is it's a special double honor tonight to be inducted alongside my high school basketball teammate, Ray Latimer. Uh, Ray, when I passed the ball to you in high school, it never came back. Um, <laughs> but you've made up for that, and I love you. And so it's an honor to be here. Thank you all, and God bless you. I really do appreciate it.